Hi everybody, Rich Fields here, 38 year voiceover artist. I was the former announcer of The Price is Right with Bob Barker and Drew Carey. Rich Fields! Thank you very much, Bob. 30 year dream come true, thank you. I was the voice of CBS Network promos for many years. See why this close knit family got nine Emmy nominations. What's the brunch, Marie? Ham. Excellent, I shall put on my ham pants. Everybody loves Raymond, CBS Monday. And I was even the voice of the entertainment show Extra. Extra! Coming up, Lindsay Lohan, incarcerated. Find out why the judge slapped handcuffs on Lindsay and took her straight to jail. Those are just a couple of credits. I was also featured in the uh, show Family Guy, in the animated show Family Guy, and in the, even in the Disney movie Bolt, and a million other television shows I can't even think of. But uh, go to richfields.tv, start clicking around, and, and you'll see some of the other uh, credits there for me. But today, I want to talk about my workflow with regard to Voices.com. You know, technology has changed tremendously since I got into the voiceover business, and I still have agents and ad agencies that send me uh, scripts, and, and they're fairly decent uh, scripts for, for good money. But, you know, Voices.com, now that technology has changed, this is the way to get scripts online and to bid for jobs if you're a voiceover artist, Voices.com, you can't beat it. So I'd like to go through my workflow. So I get in the morning, I pull up Voices.com, I pull up my jobs and I see what's there. And, and actually there's one here this morning, there's a couple, but there's one here this morning. It says uh, radio, uh, it's a radio spot for a station announcer-esque. So I know already they're looking for sort of a parody of an announcer. It says I'm 100% a voice match. There's already 66 responses to this. And it would seem like, gee, God, I don't have a chance. But, you know, being 100% voice match for it on Voices.com, I know that my uh, audition is going to go right at the top of the heap. It's going to go in with the other 100% voice matches. People that were anywhere, you know, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50% voice matches who auditioned for this, mine's going to go in above theirs. So... I'm not worried about it. They're offering a talent budget of $100 to $250. And the word count, I always look at that as well. How big is this job? Word count's only 50 words, and they're willing to go to $250. So as I pull up their script, I can see we have here, it looks like a, a, a car dealer, and uh, it looks like the gentleman, Tim Hovick, who's either probably the manager or the car dealer himself, is doing some lines, and then this station-esque, this announcer uh, from the radio station uh, buzzes in every once in a while. And as I read through the copy, I notice here that one of the lines, station announcer, it says, uh, one of the lines says, not bad, and then next to it, it says, like Ted Knight. Who's Ted Knight? Well, if you're not old enough to remember Ted Knight, the great actor, he was in the Mary Tyler Moore show. He played a character called Ted Baxter. He was a, a news anchor, weather anchor, uh, extraordinaire. And he, Ted talked down here all the time. Uh, if you don't know who he is, well then, by all means, you need to go to YouTube and pull up uh, Google Ted Knight and pull up some of his work. And now continuing with the news, local pig farmers serve notice today that rising corn prices are forcing them to find other means to... So now that you have a good idea of who Ted Knight is and who Ted Baxter was and the delivery that Ted had, Mary, he always talked down here in the lower register of his voice, a uh, very effectuated uh, an old time news announcer guy. So he was always like that. Uh, it's not too hard to do. So let's pull up the script again and let's talk about uh, uh, laying down some tracks. So the first line, Tim says, we have a selection and price that makes you sing like a bird. Announcer guy comes in and he says, um, Tim, think you can cram any more corny cliches into this spot? Tim has another line. Announcer guy comes back like Ted Knight it's a, and say, not bad. And then Tim has another line. Station announcer comes in again. Okay, we got it the first time, Tim. And then uh, Tim Tuhovic comes back again and he says, uh, you'll be free as a bird at uh, Santan Ford. And then announcer guy comes back. And there's a couple of uh, directions in there. It's after the first line, it says digress a little, cough, clear your throat, and then move on. So here I go. I'll take it from here. <coughs> Valley-wide, right on the price, right on the corner of the Santan 202 Freeway in Val Vista in Gilbert. So I'm done. Let me get the script out of my way, and I'm going to stop my recording on uh, Adobe Audition. And then now I can see exactly where I'm at with regard to what I've recorded and, and what is extraneous. And I'm going to take out all that extraneous talk. Um, Tim, think you can cram any more corny clips? So I'm going to take all that talking to you that I did. Uh, it's in that uh, piece right there. And then I believe this is the rest of me. Not bad. Not bad, like Ted Knight. I'm going to take okay, out the... Okay, we got it the first time, Tim. And then again, extraneous talking to you guys, and then... I'll take it from here. <coughs> okay, I'm going to tighten up that cough to I'll take it from here. 
I'll take it from here. <coughs> Valley wide, right on the price. I'm going to tighten up that a little bit too. I'm going to take out a, a little pause there and a little breath. So it tightens up there a little bit, tightens up here a little bit. So here it goes. I'll take it from here. <coughs> Valley wide, right on the price, right on the corner of the Santan 202 freeway in Val Vista in Gilbert. And we're going to trim the end off as well. So there's my full waveform file. Now I go up to effects, and I'll always take a little hard limiter to this. Uh, I like to put in a, a, a minus 3 dB hard limiter to it. It's it's like normalizing, but it pushes everything up to minus 3 dB, and it gives it just a little fuller sound. And when these guys, you know, they're not listening in a studio like this with beautiful speakers. They're listening at at their desk or even at their homes, and and they're listening on little computer speakers. So you want it to be as full as it possibly can be. So uh, let me just label this. I always label things uh, save as. Hang on a second. I always label things with my name, capital R-I-C-H, capital F-I-E-L-D-S, underscore, and then I'll label it with whatever the project was called. In this case, radio announcer. I save it to my desktop. Bam! I'm done. Now, I go back to voices.com. And I pull up the site again where I'm able to go ahead and make my uh, a submission for the project. So I'll click Submit. Uh, the budget was $100 to $250 for 50 lousy words. I don't think I did that many, frankly. And then what did it take me, 10 seconds? You know, all we're selling is air here, folks. I'm going to put in a, an amount of uh, $200, and I'm going to send it off. Let's see what happens. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. It's 4.30 in the afternoon, and I've gotten an alert from Voices.com, a message on my phone. You know, they when you set up your profiles, they'll send you uh, audition notices. They'll send you if somebody has sent you a message on Voices.com or if uh, anybody through Voices.com themselves, personnel may want to contact you. But I've gotten a message that someone has sent me a note. So I'm going to go to messages on the Voices.com site, and I see here that I have one from Wes Galvin. Wes Galvin was the producer of the radio spot, the uh, Ted Baxter announcer-esque spot we just did a little bit ago. And uh, it's four words from uh, from Wes, and it says, you're done, exclamation point. Many thanks. So there's a good example, folks, of why you should, if it's only a few words, why you should cut the entire uh, audition. Because here now, I don't even have to go back and redo it. If, if I'd have just given them a little bit of Ted Knight so they could hear what it would sound like and then sent that in, well, now they got to come back and they, they're like, hey, you know, okay, we like the voice, let's cut this thing, and, and you got to go ahead and do it. Where in this case, I have superseded everybody who didn't cut the whole spot. I did the voice they wanted, and they bought the audition straight up, just like that. So now the if I go to payments, I can see that Voices.com is holding an escrow, $200 from West Gavin, along with uh, a few others that have come in as well. But uh, there you go, as simple as that. There's going to be a check in the mail from Voices.com in the next couple of days. It's that simple. I recommend Voices.com to everybody, anybody I coach or anybody I make a voice demo with. And by the way, if you would like a service like like that, go to richfields.tv, click on demos, and get all the information on uh, the making of a voice demo, a killer voice demo, and uh, even some voice coaching if you want. That's a look at workflow here on Voices.com. I'm Rich Fields. We'll talk to you next time.